Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy George, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the new Dota V Supercar Battle Pass, seeing what's in it, seeing what it's all about. So I thought I'd do that, let's just get right into the content. Whoa, 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 82.6% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel. What are you doing? Go down there, hit the sub button, hit the like button. We just hit 2,300 subscribers today. We're now on the road to 2,400, hopefully by the end of this month. So I thought I'd do, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see, we're loading into WWE Supercar now to see who the Battle Pass card is, what's in the Battle Pass. We're gonna get into it. A new Battle Pass featuring Kyrie Sane is available starting today. A lot of us speculated, a lot of us the community speculated if it was going to be Kyrie saying and yes it is let's have a look at the card design oh my lord a female card oh that looks amazing no way that looks awesome will i be buying the battle pass yes but only when i've got it completed purely because i'm gonna then do a video of me going through and claiming everything in one video for you guys on the channel it's a right arrow female and before i hear anyone say oh why are we getting a new battle pass card we've got a new tier coming in two weeks we literally had a similar situation back in myth tier with the Cactus Jack, I believe it was, or Mick Foley, where he had a myth tier battle pass card. And then there was a new tier drop in like two weeks later. But that card ended up being a really good card, even going into the next tier. And it's going to be the same with this one. Let's have a look at the rewards and what you get. So obviously level one, you get the card for the single. Then you get at level two, you get a portrait image. Level three, you get a bout perk, bout, a PvP perk, bout PvP perk. Then level four, you get a fusion perk. Level five, you get a gym perk. Level six, you get 300 super coins. Level seven, an awesome card back with 250 super coins. Level eight, you get a in-ring conditioning perk, reduces that by 25%. Level nine, you get 400 super coins. Level 10, you get 250 credits. Level 11, you get a bat reducer for team events, 30%. That's not bad. Level 12, 500 super coins. Level 13, you get a Dakota Kai attitude, as well as 200 extra super coins. Level 14, you get an RDP pick. Level 15, you get super coins. Level 16, you get a money in the bank bat reducer time by 15 minutes perk. Level 17, you get a gold pack, which can contain uh, anything from detention to tundra. Level 18 is an extra 800 super coins. Level 19 is two RDP picks. Level 20 is a Kyrie Sane uh, attitude. Level 21 is another 900 super coins. Level 22 uh, it contains two. You get a pack where it contains two cards anywhere from detention to tundra. Level 23, two RDPs. Level 24, you get a thousand super coins. And then level 25, you get the card for a pro. But yes, I always buy the battle passes and I've had people recently. And I've had, oh, fucking hell, I can't talk. And I've had people recently ask me, are the battle passes worth it? The price based on like what you pay for and what you get back. In my opinion, all the battle passes so far in season 10, and in season nine, since we've had them, have always been worth it because the ROI, the return on investment, the money that you put in versus what you get back has always been more worth it. If you guys think about like this card, for example, if that was in the store, how many credits would you guys have to load up to just get that card as a single, let alone as a pro, right? It'd be way more than 23 euros, trust me. And the fact you're getting it for 23 euros as a pro, plus all this other stuff, it's awesome, man. Like I said, I'll be completing it and then claiming it and doing opening everything for a video for you guys on the YouTube. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this in the comments. So yeah, with that being said, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of this Battle Pass card. Will you guys be covering the Battle Pass? Will you be skipping it? Let me know what you guys think of all of this in the comments section down below. Like I said, if you guys have liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one very, very soon.